everything died, not just the Discord. Yeah, your stream's down. Yeah, I mean, Discord was fine. I could hear you guys still, but oh, I couldn't yeah. see the stream. The stream. Okay, we're good. Down, I mean. So everyone, the stream is back. Okay. All right. Uh, exp describe. Sorry, guys. I literally, as I asked Apocalypse to describe the platform to me, I just got a notification saying OBS disconnected. So I do apologize for that. Okay, Apocalypse. All I really want to know is on the platform, uh, is the altar still there? Yes, he is mumboing over the altar. Uh, back towards you, he is facing the altar. Behind the altar is what you assume to be his like, living and sleeping quarters. Uh, but between you and him is about 80 feet of just open room. Right. Uh, and Shami. Right. I will use my movement, which I believe is I can, use, I can move 30 yards, right? 30 feet, yep. 30 feet. So I'm going to use my bonus action to move closer to him. Uh, I just want to get to 60 feet, so I'll just, use, I'll, I'll just move 20 yards. Yeah. And I'm going to cast Shatter on the altar. Okay, what's the radius on Shatter? 10 feet. 10. But I will cast it in such a way that it hits maybe Serpentus, the altar, and then whatever is behind it, not that it hits uh, Shami. Don't know if it works that way. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, does it but work? Hold on. Uh, that is... Constitution saving throw. Let's go. All right, I have to so use... That is 22. That is definitely above your spell save DC. Uh, so, yeah, 3d8 from you, Akko, for half damage. Okay, but that, the altar is going to take the full damage, right? You would hope. 20. But the okay, altar takes... So doesn't the altar... Objects or things take more damage. Or does that take full damage and creatures take... How does Shatter work uh, exactly? It has disadvantage on saving throws if it's an inorganic material. Um, so, yeah, it, it takes damage um, if it is susceptible to being shattered, uh, which Serpentis certainly seems to be, as you let out a very loud, piercing, painful, intense noise uh, that disrupts his spell casting uh, and actually hurts him for 10 points of thunder damage. Um, but the altar itself seems to glow uh, with the power that you've just infused it with. Oh my fuck. Huh. All right, so Serpentus is definitely vulnerable to magic damage. Well, you interrupted his spell casting, so what was causing the barrier has now dissipated. Ah, okay. Quick, let's get the fuck out. No, no, oh, now, now is the time to attack. Um, my final, my final action <laughs> will be a speaking action, and I say, the darkest creature can become unbound, adjure the spirit with the repelling sound, banish from the Frankish house, command the serpent, Aus. Uh, so a couple of things happen. Uh, all of the lights within the room just wink out, almost as if they were snuffed by spirits and shadows from the darkness that are very unhappy about being exposed within the light. Uh, but Serpentis drops to the floor. Uh, and out of his body uh, rises a black mist that seems to take shape into a humanoid-looking form. Uh, and I will post the image into Party Journal in just a second. Everybody has dark vision, Nixty, right? Nixty, uh, the best advice I have for you is I'm to follow on Discord. Here. Yes. Uh, just because I always post there whenever go. I go Ingrid's live on Discord. This is a picture of what has just come out of Serpent. If Twitch is being f fucking useless. Otherwise, it's Tuesdays Ooh, to Fridays usually. Oh, no. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Shit. Did you post it in Goon Squad? Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. I want to see what this thing looks like. Oh. Look at this chat. This is what we're fighting right now. 
but also as uh, the light diminishes within the room, uh, you do notice a fairly spectral <laughs> light coming from the roof of the room that you are in as four specters drop down, uh, as you can see in Goon Squad Business, what they look like. As with them comes the body of four of Sir Pentis's own boys that you correctly deduce that he has turned into these specters. Right, so these specters are inside the bodies or just no, with the them? bodies drop down as they ah. were held up there as surprise by the barrier itself. Uh, and then as they're dropped, the specters are given their signal to attack. Okay, okay. Um, but my, I think my turn is over. Yep. So, Morny, your turn. Oh boy. All right. Um, what's the closest uh, entity to me? A specter or the one of the wraith? specters that is focusing on you? It seems that the four specters have each chosen a target, uh, as well as Sir Pentis will have chosen a specific target himself as well. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go f up to it and try and hit it with two claw attacks. Uh, still at disadvantage? Uh, no, that spell seems to have been lifted as well. Wow, straight 14 for both of them. Yep, yeah, you hit. All right, I've got the perfect fucking spell for this occasion. Just waiting on Monty to roll up his damage now, see what he does to the Spectre. Eleven and ten. Nice, yeah, you uh, you seem to dissipate quite a lot of its smoke and it seems to be vastly diminished in size and magnitude, um, but the glow it was emanating seems to be quite diminished as well, uh, almost snuffed out. But he is going to get a little bit mad that you just wafted away part of his evil fart cloud and is going to make a melee spell attack against you with a plus four to hit. So that's a 23. That hits. Can you give me a constitution saving throw as well as take 3d6 damage? Jesus. Big 11s. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good, as your hit point maximum is reduced by 11. Mike. How close are the, the uh, wraiths to each other? As close as you are to each other. Serpentis is 80 feet down the hall from you uh, and directly in front of Shami um, with a wraith coming down, to, well, a specter coming down towards her uh, as well as specter right in front of Morny and a specter in front of you and uh, Andy. How close are me and, or how close are Morny and Andy next to me? You tell me. Uh, hopefully within 10 feet, because I'm going to... Most likely, if you haven't moved. Yeah, okay. I'm going to cast Magic Circle to encompass the wraiths that are 
uh, targeting myself, Morny, and Andy. So you're circling them or circling us away from them? So well, it's a the... ten foot radius, so it would get all three of you and the three specters as well. That's fine, do it. Yep. The only thing I think is going to be a fuck up here is Andy and Mike can leave the circle. Morny's going to be trapped inside the circle with the race. Yep. I mean, you may have overlooked this, Mike, and I don't want to tell you what to do. If you want to cast Magic Circle, you can, but it is going to take 10 rounds to cast. It is a one minute casting time. Oh, shit, right. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Mike always fucking put himself completely out of the game. <laughs> Strate strategic AFK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, uh, I'll i do Vampire Touch on the one that's trying to target me. Uh, yeah, so that would 25. be melee spell attack. 25. Yeah, you definitely hit. Eleven. Cool. And I heal for that much. Uh, you heal for nothing uh, as you do necrotic damage with a vampiric touch. And uh, usually... And you you regain hit points equal to half the amount of necrotic damage dealt. Yep. And when you don't do any damage, because no necrotic damage is taken, you heal nothing. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, Mr. G In just that case, Napoleon plus, with envy. The uh, plus fives on mine were necrotic damage, so he should only take a total of 11. So okay. he gets 10 back. Not a problem. And it would be the next Spectre's turn if Mike is done. Yep. Oh my god. And he's going to take a swipe at Andy. That's a nine. That doesn't hurt. Yeah, gets put off by your loot goblin, Andy, as he sees that, I guess. Good. <laughs> um, but then we go back around the horn to uh, Sir Pentis himself, and he has uh, definitely an eye for the one who cast the enchantment at him and banished him from his very nice and cushy body. Uh, that he was languishing within as an absolutely enjoying life. Uh, so he is going to take one look at you, Akko, and he is going to cast. Why me? I didn't do anything. You blasted him out of his body. No, well, fuck him. Uh, 30 foot cube, so that would include money. Andy and Mike as well. Uh, can you four give me a wisdom saving throw, please, as a hypnotic pattern fills the air? I'm just quickly doing a a vote here, a, a poll on on Twitch on whether or not we're gonna actually survive this fight. I roll a nineteen. Should I do wisdom saving throw as well, or? Yep. Fuck, what's my... How do I know what my wisdom, sa wisdom saving throw modifier is? It plus will be three. under stats. It's plus three. Okay, so it's d20 plus three. Yep. 20. Ideal. So, uh, Morny and Andy, uh, you both fail to close your eyes against this hypnotic pattern and are charmed by it. If you are susceptible to being charmed, uh, you are incapacitated and have a speed of zero. Uh, I am not uh, susceptible to being charmed. Morning. 
Monique, can you not be charmed? And I'm waiting for our, for Alpaca to pipe up and be like, I, I don't know this time. <laughs> no, if he's immune to charms, he's immune to charms. Okay, There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd, yeah. just, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> the one time. <laughs> Uh, Andy, are you able to be charmed, or are you gonna pull that out of your bum too? I'm pretty sure I'm just charmed. Nothing, nothing weird going on. Alrighty. So now we have uh, Mike's Spectre and Shammy's Spectre. They're both gonna attack with plus fours that is an 11 against mike and that is a nat one against jammy uh so that's not gonna go well for the second specter uh does the first one touch you at all mike i don't think it does i got an armor class of 15. yeah it does do absolutely anything to you um what does he even do to himself so he takes the force damage doesn't he so essentially the spectre manages to move within himself and kind of trip himself up as only a ghost can and trips through himself doing 1d10 force damage of one point of damage what the fuck what a going in ink i feel like my tongue at the silly silly rate uh andy it is your turn and you can give me another wisdom saving throw to avoid Staying incapacitated. Extra 15. You manage to shake away the hypnotic, swaying, colorful light show within your eyes uh, just long enough to realize that the specter's gearing up to slap you again. <laughs> well, I have nowhere to move, right? Because we are encircled. No. Are you? Yeah. No, you're not, because he didn't cast it, because it's one minute casting time, didn't he? Yeah, plus you would have been able to move out of the circle. Yeah, true, true, true. Well, I just... I guess I move my full movement, which is... A 30? Yeah, 30 that feet. That will trigger an attack of opportunity on you. Oh, yeah. It, wait, it's already at me? Like, it's yeah, in yeah. rage to hit me? Okay, never mind. I thought he was j just approaching. Uh, well then. Uh, is any of them, of them turned away from me? Uh, you have Serpentis firing spells at Akko from next to Shami. Shami has a spectre near her. Morny's got a spectre that's got some claw marks within the smoke. Mike's got a spectre that laughed at him trying to do undead damage to an undead. Uh, <laughs> and yours looking at you dead in the face. So okay. pretty much all kind of engaged, but well within being able to see everybody. Yeah, that won't do. So I'm just going to go for a... Uh... Yeah, just for an attack, I guess. Go for it. All right, this is... I have such a good plan. They just shouldn't move the wraiths now because yeah, I can hit all of these wraiths with a, a fucking huge attack if it goes well, obviously. Hits again. So that's 19 damage. I assume yep. it's like halved because it's a uh, wraith. Um, it is actually not because uh, the first one's with a magical weapon, wasn't it? Yes. You picked up from the warehouse, but the second one wasn't. That's just your normal weapon. Yeah. Okay, so only the second one is halved. Uh, scaled up or down? Two or three? That would be two. So 16 points of damage. Uh, yeah, you slice up an angry fart. Did he kill it or just 
Oh no, it's still going. Okay. So As by we my go around to Shami. But by my estimation, two of the four wraiths have now been damaged. Yes. Okay. Well, three, because one did one damage to itself. I cannot wait for my turn to come around. Well, I guess I better attempt to do something about this uh, specter that's attacking go, me. Go, go, <laughs> go, 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 tickle it. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go tickle it. You're at, you're at Sir Paintus. If I'm, I just want to see the room. You're, you're standing yep, at Sir Paintus. Next to Sir Paintus, as well as her own specter. Oh, okay. I mean, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, because I'm, you know, I'm going to get attacked by something. <laughs> Only the spectre has eyes for you. Serpentis definitely has eyes for Akko as the one who blasted him out of his uh, meat sack. Oh, I, I fucking definitely hate do this. something about my spectre then. Uh, does yeah, my that offhand? Hits. Okay. Both or my offhand? Uh, just the offhand. The nine doesn't hit. tickled him. I literally <laughs> fucking tickled him. Uh, that's the same as Andy as well. It's your main hand that's the magic one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you, you felt some resistance, but it doesn't actually seem to have left any lasting impact. Uh, almost as if it was resisted for half damage and rounded down. Oof. Funny how that works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just said okay. no no i equipped the magical weapon in my offhand yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then next round you go no no i just switched weapons again <laughs> doing some fucking game of thrones are you fucking dagger lobbing shit right there <laughs> yeah. uh, but we go around to echo's turn all right can i get a quick as how far apart are all of these wraiths one of them would be very far away from the other three so you have three that are 20 feet behind you engaged with the other three members of the party okay. you have one that's 40 feet in front of you next to serpentis and shami and serpentis is obviously up there as well looking at you with some fucking mean mugging eyes all right, but the three that's behind me that's currently facing Morny and the others, uh, how far apart are they? Less than 10 yards apart? Uh, they're well within a 10-foot radius, so within 20-foot end-to-end. Fuck. No, 20-foot end-to-end. Okay, so I am going to thunder step literally right in the middle of all three. That means that a 10-yard radius should hit all of them, correct? I believe it's from where you leave that it does damage. No, it says teleport 90 yards does damage in a 10 yard range. I don't think it says where the damage is done. You can quickly check, hold up. Yeah, immediately after you disappear, a thunderous boom sounds on each creature within 10 feet of the space you left must make a constitution saving throw. Oh, wait, never mind. So that the, won't but, hit anyone. No, no, but what I can do is I will r use my movement to run to the wraiths right in the center of them, where all of them are sort of stood, uh, you know, 10 yards, like in a 10 yards radius. So I'm going to move there, and then I'm going to thunder step away from that position uh, back to my original position. Okay. You can do that. But will my thunder step hurt my yeah. party members as well? If it depends on their saving throws, doesn't it? No, wait. There's friendly fire? What the fuck? Yes, there's that friendly fire. Her. Shit. Uh, I'm totally okay with it. 
No, I don't. I'm I don't, not. I don't want to kill my <laughs> fucking party members. <laughs> you realize if he top rolls this, I'm dead. Um. All right, fine. I will just focus on Sir Paintus, and I'm going to give him um a quick Aldrich blast right to the noggin. That's a one d ten plus charisma. Uh, if you hit finger guns oh my god he's probably like some he's got some stupid amount of fucking 17 does that hit uh and one more because you get two beams at fifth Uh, so with your spell casting modifier of plus five, is it? Or plus seven for attack mods? Spell attack modifier plus five. Okay, so on the 10, you don't hit Serpentis. Um, but on the first hit, you do. So roll that damage, which is d10 plus charisma. Yeah, uh, my charisma is plus, five. plus six. That's plus six, my charisma. So it's 1d10. Yeah, 1d10 plus 6. Okay. How are you at 22 charisma? Just am. Looking at it here, charisma. I get 2 from my race, plus 1 for level, which goes to plus 2, but then my charisma is also proficiency, which says total five, 6, but... Should I do mod or total? That's your saving throw. Your stat is only plus five. No, the mod says plus four. So it would be plus four then. All right. Because if your proficiency... So your proficiency is actually plus three right now, I believe, for being level five. Yeah. So, yeah, you haven't updated your stat sheet properly. Because uh, your charisma save should be with proficiency plus your charisma modifier. So if your charisma modifier is a plus four baseline, uh -huh. you should have a plus seven to your charisma saving throws. All right. But it would be plus four to the damage, yeah. Yeah, okay, plus four. So 1d10 plus four. Aldrich Blast. Let's do this. Fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All that set up and it hits for nothing, like a wake noodle. <laughs> Mother cunt. This brings back flashbacks of uh, Chaos Bolt and Legion. Like before yeah. they fucking, before they buffed it. Oh my God. Yeah, those, those 10K crits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, my yeah. life's a bit. Uh, but it does actually seem to do its full damage. None of the five points seem back to be Back when I bro. All right, that's good. Okay. Hey, Moni, your turn. All right, I'm going to take two swipes at this uh, Wraith again. Or, sorry, Spectre. Norman, I could have done that with my thunder step. I decided not to do that because if they all die, I die. I don't have the house uh, to fight this alone. 15. Both hit. Oh, I'm just going to roll the d6 because the plus five doesn't affect them with it being narco uh, necrotic. I would love it if you did narcotic damage. That would be fantastic. Just get them high by slapping them around like... Man, it would be cool. Is narcotic damage, damage actually a thing? Or... <laughs> yeah, narcotic damage. Because if that was a thing, uh, that would yeah, be cool as you, shit. Yeah, uh, you waft away the smoke monster a little bit more and uh, seem to bring it back to where it was before you realized that it was necrotic damage that didn't have any effect. So uh, is... And it's going to be its turn again to slap you back. Is all Morny's damage necrotic? Uh, that's the that 16. Yeah, 16 doesn't hit you. No, it does, doesn't it? Does it? No, I have AC 17. Whoa, lucky. Morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is all your damage necrotic? No. I have spells and I'm looking through them right now. 
Uh, Mike, your turn. Looking forward to what Mike has cooked up. You know what? Let's go with the old tried and tested. I'm going to poison spray my wraith. Please make sure it's not fucking necrotic damage. Poison spray is not necrotic. I believe it is. You would know that specters are also immune to poison. <laughs> Being undead, they can't be poisoned. Oh, you should not have said that. That would have been like two rounds now where Mike did absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's why I told okay, him. Okay, fine. Okay, so fine. Bad. Fine. Fucking sacred flame then. Fuck this shit. Like, I'm just going to take radiant Ooh. damage then. Do it. Uh, Fucking miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chat's having a lot of fun with your uh, choice of spells, Mike. <laughs> yeah. uh, that would be a plus. Uh, hold on, a six. Oh, that would be a sixteen. You you hit it. Fourteen. Yeah, it definitely takes the damage. Uh, it doesn't seem to be resisting any of it. But it is still standing. Or floating, rather. As the last turn in the order is going to be the Spectre to slap Andy. <sighs> Uh, that's a 14. Does that hit you, Andy? No. These fucking specters, man. They're <laughs> useless. <laughs> we Absolute also don't seem to kill them, mobs. though. Like, we also don't seem to kill them, so they're doing their job. No one's hitting their painters. I think the rest of you should run away from the specters now and move to fucking their painters. If we kill him, the specters die too. Just want to say that. You at least hope they would, but it is Sir Pentis' turn, and he is going to fix you with a steely gaze, Echo. Mm -hmm. uh, and he is going to cast Hold Person upon thyself. If you would give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh my fuck, why always wisdom? What the f- Why can't it be a charisma saving throw? Cause he knows you're dumb. Yeah, he's a fucking moron, is what he is? <laughs> <sighs> that doesn't exactly make him a moron now, does it? Mm. Alright, what does whole person uh, do? It paralyzes you uh, as you feel yourself being restrained by spirits on the other side. Wait, uh, can I not be... I can't cast Tomb of Levistus before this can. happens. You absolutely can. But would Ice Block save me from this? Yes, it would. All right, I, I want to cast Tomb of Levistus before it fucking hits me. Okay, so Akko is now encased in ice to avoid a spell. Yes. I can break it whenever the fuck I want, though, right? It's at the end of your next turn. You basically skip a turn. It's full on ice block. Wow. The updates have not rolled in yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as the two specters whose turn it is next are going to take a swipe at Shami and Mike that is a 22 against Shami and a 14 against Mike I'm assuming the 22 hits not 22 hits but I reject your reality and substitute my own and uncanny dodge you gonna what? Freaking rogues. I slow I I slow their dance. Uncanny dodge is a reaction. They can yeah. have the damage of an attack. Oh. So that is a con save from you, Shani.
and you take three points of damage. Ice block says plus 10 hit. Does that mean plus 10 to hit? That's your hit points. So it just gives me so 10 extra hit points. A, yeah, it gives you basically a shield. All right. But just for as long as it lasts, not... Not yeah. permanently, no. Fuck! So I'm still half health. Okay. So you don't lose the maximum health, um, but you do lose the three HP. Okay. And Andy, your turn. Yep, I assume the same one is still directed at me, so I'm going to do the yep. same thing. Can't what be silent, Alex? 15 hits. I don't have to miss a fucking entire roll. This sucks. I wanted to do another Eldritch Blast. I forgot I get two Second Eldritch Blasts, level 5. Page. Fucking sucks so much, dude. This fight, though, like, no one is hitting. No one's doing any damage to these things. Yeah, so that's 12 damage. Six doesn't hit, I assume. Six does not hit, but the 12 is enough to finish it off from the damage you had already delivered unto it. Uh, and one of the fart clouds dissipates. I do a little, little shimmy. as Andy does his victory dance uh, we go over to Shami Shami there I uh, Assume so. I'm having like, di technical difficulties. Okay, so it's my turn, yes? Yep. Yeah. I'm tickling things again. Yes. Only I'm not. 14 hits. Is that not your... And you do three points of damage as it resists the mundane weaponry. No, no, she sh swapped weapons. We already spoke about this. <laughs> <laughs> She's too hanging in the ears. So the main and offhand is with the same weapon. <laughs> yeah. She's hitting with the one weapon and then taking it and hitting it with the other hand. So interesting sidebar. Uh, one of the Tavern Town group members from way back in the day uh, got the nickname of Honest John uh, because he always carried around like 11 different weapons at any given time and when like just for Mac, each thank you very much, really racial type that. of damage he would have the right weapon to go at it with until the dm caught his character sheet and was like why do you have 11 two-handed swords in your backpack wow <laughs> he's walking along with an armory in his fucking cloak <laughs> what race was he that point i'd say the cloak was made out of swords pretty much yeah <laughs> uh, i believe he was a half elf andy so it did, did not make any sense at all uh so akko is thawing out on his turn and yes. it will be morny's go all right second verse same as the first because I do not have spells that I believe will deal damage to these things. Just well, like, let me check one. Just like the blood out of, uh, out of the race. <laughs> yeah, just bite him. I mean, the bite would just... be necrotic damage, right? Yeah, it would. <laughs> but Most wouldn't likely. the initial teeth be Ooh. physical damage as a bonus action i'm going to cast uh zephyr strike which um uh you give yourself advantage on one weapon attack 
well, yeah, natural weapons count, and it deals an extra d8 force damage on hit. Fuck, Alex, that sucks. Go for it. It is going to be only for the first one, because it's one attack, so uh, probably just the 14 hits. Just the 14 hits. Okay. Uh, yeah, Alex, um, the issue is absolutely, as you're right, it's a hidden code for specifically gifting, so Akko would have to actually manually update it himself, which we know he's not going to go to the effort of doing. Alex can do it too. 11 points. Alex got full access to stream elements. Big 11s. Uh, yeah, you finish off yours as uh -huh. well. Another fire cloud dissipates as you waft it away with your Zephyr Strike. Didn't know it was a bonus action. Should have been using that spell more. <laughs> It would mean you would only be able to attack once rather than with the uh, main hand and oh, offhand shoot, as well. Oh, shoot, you're though. right. Um, but it's Thank fine. You missed with the offhand anyway, exactly. so we won't count that. So. <laughs> uh, and so that one's dead. That one's dead. Uh, Mike, your turn. So there's only two wraiths left. Two specters and a wraith. Oh, yeah. Two specters and a wraith, okay? Same thing as last time, Sacred Flame on the Spectre. Miss. Oh, <laughs> wow. Fuck the sakes. Damn, we got him. Let me hit, please. Got him. <laughs> I was fucking. With that Can low of a roll. you with a Ranger curse, mate. Can I just say, with that low of a roll, the Spectre should actually get an advantage bonus action? No, no, it shouldn't. <laughs> he didn't he didn't that one he doesn't get an attack of opportunity against him <laughs> wait so that's what happens if you're not one it can do <laughs> all right guys that's my turn then but we go i'm back round to serpentis who is going to move towards you akko he is going to fly the 60 feet towards you through Shami herself, uh, not procking the attack of opportunity as uh, specters and incorporeal beings uh, get to move through uh, combat areas. Uh, and he's going to attack you as you are now completely thawed out. Motherfucker. So this is a plus six. It's an eight that did not hit you. No, I don't think so. How do I see my it, it's constitutions? Uh, no, this would be against your armor class. Yeah, I have 11. Yeah, did not hit you. Good. Fuck you, bitch. But he is right in your face now. Great. As, I've uh, got a lovely spell for him. The two remaining specters take their turn with their plus fours. That's a 19 against Shami. That is a 15 against Mike. Ty is good at the defender, correct? Pardon? Uh, my armor class is 15, so that technically doesn't hit, correct? It would hit you as it lands on the button. Ah! Okay. I just took how much damage? I haven't rolled it yet. Oh, okay. Shami <laughs> <laughs> was looking at the rolls going, wait, what the fuck? I fit in by 26 damage. <laughs> you take eight, Shami, and Mike takes ten. Well, how much? How, how often can I dodge things? <laughs> Uncanny dodge is whenever you get attacked. Okay, so I. I'm, I'm going to dodge it. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to being a rogue. Uh, you got to see it coming, though. <laughs> oh, she definitely sees the fire cloud swinging at her face. Yeah, like. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, so four damage to Shami as rogues are OP and uh, ten to Mr. Mike. 
And then we get round to Andy, who is not currently in combat with anything. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh, which one of the the ones that are being attacked has lower health right now? Uh, the one that is attacking Mike is it is taking a sacred flame rather than half of a dagger. Mm -hmm. So that should be like five foot away, maybe. It's definitely well within movement and stab range. Okay, I go around so I I don't like so I still get my advantage and just shank it. I swear to yeah. god, Andy, if you roll a fucking one and shank me instead. I go through it and stab Mike. <laughs> Intentionally. <laughs> I don't no. know why you guys insist on speaking these horrible things into my mind. It would be funny. It's almost as like you want me to fuck you guys up. <laughs> but it would be funny. Let's be real. No, so I, want, I want you to fuck Akko up. <laughs> it would be so oh, funny. He fucks himself up, mate. Fucking, I'm, I'm going to make myself immobile as a fireball gets launched at my head. Yeah, but I didn't know that the fireball was on the <laughs> ground. That's the point. And I should have just ice blocked. Yeah, but then you wouldn't have been able to do that for the hypnotic pattern. Or paralyze, rather. True. So that's 31 damage. It explodes. And then it's 7 to the other one. How can you do that much fucking damage? Well, yes, there it is. Bro, you have the numbers bro, bro. right there. Rogues are OP. No, how, what do you mean the other one? So I have a thing because I'm a, I'm a phantom rogue where if I hit something with a, a sneak attack, I can do half of the rolled damage to a nearby target within 30 feet. It's not within 30 feet. Yeah, the other one is that Shami, which is like 40 feet away from us no oh okay. it's 40 feet away from me it's like 70 feet yeah. away from you what the fuck yeah she's 80 feet down the hole from you yeah why why are you wasting damage yeah, yeah just go so that's 31 and it dies <laughs> yeah it explodes uh there is still serpentis uh tickling echo and one uh specter fighting shami currently how far away is Serpentis? Are they, are they, are they He's 20 yards away from you now. He's on me. Yeah. How far away is Akko from us then? Like well, 20, 20, 20 yards away. Yards. Oh, 20, 20 yeah. feet? Uh, 20 yeah. feet, yeah. But don't move closer to me. Just. Oh, don't worry. I'm not, I was just curious as to how, what the distance was. That's all. Okay. Uh, hey. But it is Shami's turn. Yeah. My specter is dead, correct? Yes. I'm just gonna tickle things. Well, go for it. And I didn't do anything. No. <laughs> did, did you mess on balls? Sh around. Did you? Miss Shemmy, <laughs> Sh Shemmy, pull, Shemmy, Shemmy pulls out a, a, a feather with the word <laughs> with the word French on it, and he's tickling the the, the the specter doing nothing. How can you hit miss with both weapons? By it's, attacking it's dark. a ghost, mate. Like. I've been drinking. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> uh, Akko, it is your turn, and you are currently in melee range of Serpentis himself. Yes. Okay, I will be doing a thunder step to where Shami stands at the moment uh, at that spectre, but a little bit away. You know, I don't want to be literally on top of it so that it starts hitting me. Um, and also, I don't want to be in sort of... Uh, a, bonus attack uh, range or anything like that but i will be doing a thunder step so sir painters will be taking 3d10 now as far as i'm aware he has to do a roll to see yeah. how much damage he's gonna take but i don't have to do I a roll to see if it's gonna hit i have to make a con save and get um above your spell save dc Okay. So, what is your spell save DC currently? Because 13. I have a plus three to my con. 13. Save, uh, spell save DC is 13. He does not save. So, roll right. your 3d8. 30 damage. Let's go. 
Let's go. Uh, thunder damage as well. Let's see if you're gonna get cucked on that one, and you are. How? <laughs> How? He takes fifteen points of damage. Well, it's still fifteen damage. I'll take it. All right, but I'm no longer close to him, so fuck him with his movement speed and shit. I mean, you did Man. just teleport his movement speed, so. Yeah. <laughs> I could have moved further uh, away, actually. But okay, never mind. I don't, I don't think Morning. it matters. Your turn. All right. Is the guy that I'm by still up? Uh, no. All three of your specters are down. There is a Serpentis looking a little bit bewildered as a thunderous boom heard for 300 meters uh, goes off. Uh, within the room you're all sat in and it echoes around the room making it very difficult to hear each other and actually work out what's going on disorients you a little bit actually morning with your expanded hearing capability being a vampire uh, but 20 feet away from you is a stunned looking serpentis wraith and uh, 60 feet beyond that is uh, Akko, Shami, and the final Spectre. All right. Um, I'm going to go up to Serpentis because I can't get to them in time and uh, wail on him. Go for it. Fuck, that would have been so much damage, though, if you didn't resist the half of it. Yeah, you max rolled it. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, oh, just, oh, just wait. That 19 hits. Cool. It's going to be necrotic damage again, isn't it? No, I'm taking that out because I'm assuming everything here is immune to that. Yeah, just straight immune to necrotic. Yeah, and poison. poison. Yeah. And charmed, exhaustion, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, restrained. But the reason I'm sticking, <laughs> fucking war. Oh, the reason I'm sticking with my claws is the count of magical, even if the necrotic doesn't. Uh, yes. Uh, so you do three points of demuge, and he lets out a little bit of a, a whimper and a squeal, like a, a punctured balloon. And we have Mike up next. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at level three. I'm a little bit afraid that something bigger is coming. That is a 13. Just hits. 66 damage coming up. Do it, Mike. I believe in you. Sixteen. We have five, nine, fifteen, sixteen. It's twenty-two so far. Yeah, because it's sixty-six at my level right now. All right. Yeah, you can yeah, just, just do, do sixty-six, and it will tell you what it is. Yeah, you could have just done yeah, half well, sixty-six, and it would have been much easier. Just making it difficult for everyone. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do some I math. Code, I can never, I can, I can never get the code to work. So, but yeah, that's that's my damage. Thank you, thank you, if you can appreciate uh, it that. Definitely takes the full brunt Welcome of it. To the channel. And, uh, now seems to be mean mugging you, Mike. Ooh. It also the uh, the next attack roll made against it will be at advantage. Well, it's Sir Pentis' turn, and uh, he's definitely not happy with you, Mike. Oh, I let him fuck him up. <laughs> an, end, an undead versus a cleric, how shocking. That's never happened in the history. Yeah, this is a complete fucking out of left field. Can you give me a wisdom saving throw, Mike, please? 
Whenever Albuquerque asks something uh, like that, it's always a, scary. That is a 13. Uh, so you are commanded by Serpentis to strip, and you are compelled to follow this command uh, to the best of your ability. So you will spend the next turn taking off all of your armor and clothes and weaponry and putting them on the floor. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can just tell by his tone that some bullshit is coming when he's saying this. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, final Spectre's gonna take a swing at Shami. It's a fifteen. Does that hit you? It does hit me. Uh, but I'm dodging that shit. So. <laughs> Six points of damage and a con save, please. <laughs> Mike is literally standing there with his dick out. Uh, oof. So as it tries to drain the life out of you, you just look at it and it realizes that you're dead inside already. And it seems almost ashamed of trying to steal something from you that you clearly don't have to give. Fucking not 20. There's nothing I can do against that. I'm trying to... <laughs> Trying to fuck you guys up, and you're just like, no, I reject your reality. Go fuck yourself, my good sir. <laughs> <laughs> Chat is saying everyone's role should be a disadvantage because uh, we have a it's naked uh, teammate. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it, will be, it will be a naked female Yanti with a Naga body. <laughs> yeah, advantage. that's a bit messed up. Scaly <laughs> with a yeast infection. Like. Oh shit, that's disgusting. Andy, it is your turn. So, do I have the advantage? Uh, if you're attacking Serpent, yes, yeah. Uh, Katrina, I'm not dead yet, no. I have 15 HP left. I mean, I think so, I can't travel to. A big enough hit thing. will fucking can kill me. You him? can shoot him. Ah, uh, you, you know how was my, you know, uh, shooting record. <laughs> yeah, but you're in your rogue, not your ranger. Oh, shit. And there's no dwarf to shoot. There's a fucking arrow. Yeah, but, yeah, but, the, but the, the arrow is not enchanted. This is true. Uh, so can I reach Serpentis? Yes, you can. He's 20 feet away from you. Is he turned away from me or... No. You wouldn't be able to get behind him, really, and surprise him. He is aware. Um, but you do have advantage, thanks to Mike's Guiding Bolt. Very cool. Echo, I just realized something. What? With Cammy uh, kidnapped, we can't finish this game by witch bolting up the bum. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what you think. <laughs> 16 does hit. This is a long fight. I think we've been in this fight for almost an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, just a little over an hour now. It's because everyone kept missing. <laughs> I mean, you're not much better, Mr. Pew Pew, but only one pew hits. Yeah, well, uh, wait for the next fucking pew pew. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm planning to finish him off now. Uh, yeah, you didn't you, do uh... finger guns slap into Serpentis's fart cloud and uh, seem to waft away a bit, Andy. Um, but he is still firmly focused on the cleric who has upset him. Mm. If he is... Wait, uh, how much movement did I spend to get to him? 20. Oh, fuck it. Never mind. Then. Shami, your turn. Okay, this isn't going to work. What did I tell you, <laughs> did you? The Fushball Mannschaft is fucking back, baby. I Both fucking hits. told you. Just wait for the National Fushball Mannschaft. We can do this, so, did you? So we can fucking four. do this. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you, uh, you slice up part of the cloud, and it seems to diminish quite succinctly, but it is still just about going. How do you say it again? It's the Deutsche National Fußballmannschaft, right? 
All right, so I'm going to Aldrich Blast uh, Sir Painters again. So that will be D20 twice, I'm assuming. No. Yeah. That did not hit. That one does. With All right. Your modifier. So it's Sashtak 1D10 plus 4. 14. Easy. Yeah, you do significant damage and... Uh, Gain the attention of Serpentis again, who is looking very beaten up for a spirit. Nice. And Morny, your turn. All right, we're going to do this uh, Zephyr Strike again, and this time I'm going to do it right with just rolling the one attack. Oof. Yeah, you you definitely hit, and uh, he has three health. So as long as you roll above a one, you killed him. Wow. No, he's got three health. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, mind. I know. I have a D8 with it, so I wasn't worried. Yeah, yeah, two dice. Exactly. So that's a minimum of two damage. Yeah. All right, so he's dead. So now. I got four damage total with. Yeah, I don't have to strip. Yeah, uh, you do have to strip. The command is no! in effect. Uh, so as Lord, you thank strip you really down, appreciate uh, that. as Serpentis is uh, dissipating and severed from his mortal connection to this plane, uh, a big bright flash actually illuminates through the windows as you hear uh, and then feel the subsequent rumble of thunder as what can only be described as the largest explosion that has ever been witnessed goes off within the town and uh, you think you hear rain that turns out to be pulverized brick dust from the pyramid that has just exploded uh, as uh, Serpentis is taken down. Um, somebody give me a perception check. Doesn't overly matter who. Uh, anyone can do this. Yeah, you uh, definitely notice a very familiar form uh, flying through the air its trunk whipping in the wind uh, as it seems to have been ejected with some force from the pyramid uh, aimed in your direction as an elephant comes crashing through the window uh, to crush Serpentis who is currently rising uh, now awake and free from all possession uh, and is smushed into jam by a <laughs> elephant. <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally, Cami has proven useful. Cami Buckaroo. You rocks. are not entirely sure which parts are Sir Pence's body and which parts are Cami's body. Uh, the trunk is at least identifiable still, um, but the rest is just a mixture of jam and hoof and scale. Um, but that is the tale of how you managed to take over the criminal underworld of a town by exploding the competition. Wow. Just remember, cool people never look at explosions. Yeah, you always walk away. Although, if not if you're Mike, you stand there with your pee, -pee in the air. Sort of... Uh... Yeah, Mike is just <laughs> fucking hero posing. <laughs> like, letting the wind get everywhere. <laughs> oh, um, shit. Big long than titties. Alright, just, uh, just a quick thing. Uh, first and foremost, Apocalypse... Thank you so much for DMing uh, this campaign. It was good fun. Uh, for those of you that, that do like the D&D stuff, it's not completely gone. Well, probably Apocalypse, are you okay with like every month, every two months doing a uh, one shot? Uh, I mean, I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah, but what I was thinking is like one Saturday in a, in, in a month or so, um, so one Saturday you'll DM, another Saturday I'll DM. Uh, sometimes maybe we can get other people that wants to DM. Um, but just just a quick one shot every once in a while. Um, 
I mean, yeah, the, this campaign is coming to an end. If you want to be a part of those D&D campaigns, you are more than welcome to sign up. However, with one condition, you must have a camera. Well, actually, two conditions, I suppose. You must have a camera and you must have a microphone. That's the two conditions we have. Mainly because uh, on those occasions that we do do this, uh, we'll have the cameras on for everyone with a specific layout for online D&D stuff. Uh, I just think it's more important that people see everyone because right now all you get is a bunch of voices on the other side and you don't necessarily know who's who. Uh, you don't know what's going on. Um, is that fair, Apocalypse, you think? Yeah, I mean, it's entirely up to you. If those that are comfortable with being on camera wish to do so, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I just think it makes it easier. If you're not comfortable using a camera, then you have to find either a very good meme pick that is somewhat animated. So you can use an overlay for yourself if that's something you want to do. But there has to be something that represents you. Um, so the people don't just get literally just a voice on the other side. Like, I know uh, Shami uses face rig for her streams, which would be absolutely fine to use. Yeah. Uh, face rig is the one where it sort of moves with you, but it doesn't show your actual face. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, like avatars type stuff. Yeah. You can use that as well. Uh, if you want to know more about it, I'm sure you can just ask Apocalypse in the, in the Discord and he'll give you a link to where you can get face rig. Uh, yeah, you can use VTubing if you really want to. Um, if you really don't like showing your face, you're more than welcome to do that. The main point is just it's very difficult to really like someone or understand what's going on if all you're seeing is my face and the rest of it is just voices on the other side. Right? That, that's, I mean, you, you don't get to feel any sort of connection to the party that you're actually witnessing play the game. Uh, so that's sort of why... I decided that that's something that I would want to do. Um, medicine arrived. Well, welcome back, Andy. Anyways, uh, the reason we won't continue uh, streaming today is because of uh, Twitch's rules and their limitations on how long before uh, or long how long after Twitch you can actually stream on other platforms. And if we want to do Shoal Show, which, by the way, for those of you that don't know, the show show is going to be absolutely fucking off the hook. Um, is that a fair statement, Apocalypse? There's going to be some shenanigans for sure. Yeah, I don't know how many of you saw the uh, sort of new reveals within the lore uh, community. Some new pages that's been discovered on the PTR that really signal to some very interesting shit really signal to some interesting shit so that's going to be on the topic for tomorrow's discussion and then just how many of you would want to see more saturday streams just in general not as a full-time always saturday streams but how many of you would like to see saturday streams Always up for more streams. Make Sunday for family stuff, but have fun all. Yes, Saturdays I can make. Just can't be there always. That's fine. Up to you as you feel. Well, uh, sorry, I'll mute myself in Discord so you guys don't have to listen to me fucking speak to stream. Um... All right, so basically what I will do with Saturday streams is basically they're going to be pure game streams. So if ever I do a Saturday stream, it will be because I'm in the mood to play a specific game, either Final Fantasy or WoW or whatever. But those will be pure gameplay streams. So from start to finish, no just chatting, no nothing. Um, and even when we have like D&D &D streams, that's what those will be. 
Uh, so it'll be quick, easy, just gamer streams. Because we already do a lot of law discussion streams and we do a lot of just chatting streams. So Saturdays will be basically just hanging out, playing video games. Uh, and I'll include Mondays in that, in that as well. So whenever I'm in the mood to play a game on a Monday, same thing. Uh, I'll go... You just have to check your notifications, really. If you see me go live, I go live. And uh, if, you'd, if it's on a Saturday or a Monday, then you know it's just a pure gaming thing. That's all we're going to be doing then. Make sure you're getting days off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it won't be every week. Uh, Saturdays and Mondays are not going to be part of the stream schedule. Uh, but oftentimes I find myself wanting to play a game on a Saturday or a Monday. But then I think to myself, well, I would like to stream this game, actually. Um, and then because I don't stream on those days, I either don't play the game or I start playing the game, but then can't really stream the game. Because, you know, once you've started a story game, you can't really then start streaming in the middle of the story. So this just allows me to sort of put... Whenever I want to play a game and I want to stream it, it allows me to do exactly that. JCA score, how you doing, bro? You literally arrive right at the end of the stream. Uh, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming out, for hanging out with me, for spending your Saturday with me. Um, I do apologize that it was only three hours, but it was on account of it being D&D. &D. Um, I will usually, whenever we do um, Saturday streams, go live much earlier so that we still get about, you know, four or five hours of stream in. Um, sadly, I can't go later than this. Otherwise, I'm not allowed to stream tomorrow on YouTube, which sort of sucks. But I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for coming out, for joining us on the final D, D session uh of this specific campaign i will see all of you tomorrow night for the shul show take care of yourselves take care of your loved ones enjoy your weekends and as always i will see you in the next one peace out fam